family and today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a worm on a string. So this is going to be what we're drawing. Obviously we're drawing a worm on string, like I said. If you're new here and don't know what a worm on string is, it's basically just it's this. So if you, so if this video just popped up and you like don't know what worms on strings are, they're, they're basically little fuzzy worms attached to a sh clear string. So you pull that string and it makes it look like it's moving. If you want to know more about worm on string or want to see more videos, please check out um, this channel the rest of this channel so first you're gonna want to grab a pencil markers you can use markers i'm also or i'm gonna use these paint pens you could also use paint but for this tutorial, you, you we're gonna use markers, colored pencils, or paint pens. So I'm gonna start by taking my pencil and drawing a circle. Now draw another slightly smaller circle right here. Now keep drawing smaller and smaller circles, like that. Now draw that circle right there, and some small circles right here, like that. Now draw a circle here, and a circle here. And of course, circles inside of those circles. So now I'm gonna take um, a, this black paint pen. Of course you can use markers, colored pencils, anything, or just, you could use a different color for the outline if you like. So just whatever color you like for the outline. Obviously usually black, but you can make yours a different colored outline if you'd like. So just sort of outline around the circles like that. If that makes sense, you'll see what I'm doing in the video. What I'm doing in the video pro probably makes more sense than what I'm saying. But anyway, now we have our outline. Of course, I want my ram to be blue, like this guy over here. But of course, whims on strings, as you can see, come in all different shapes, but in sizes. Well, well, um, uh, well, they come in different colors. But as you can see, as you can see, they come in many, many colors, like these colors, and even and way way more colors so for the coloring these are paint pens so I kind of gotta get the juice really going well Ooh, juicy so you're just going to sort of color in sort of like splotches like leave little extra spaces but I'm gonna use this blue as our main color so 
So, since this blue is going to be our main color, it's going to be the color that we fill our drawing with the most. It's probably recommended you don't push this down as much, especially if you're using computer paper like I am. <laughs> It's recommended if you use paint pens, you do use some strong paper. And especially if you're using computer paper, don't press them down as much as me. And as you can see, I poked a hole in the paper. Look at that. <laughs> that honestly isn't a surprise because I'm pushing it down so much. Definitely don't do that if you're using paint pens. So as you can see, I've sort of colored it, but I left little spaces. And we're gonna fill in those spaces with some darker colors. As you can see, I have poked another hole in the paper. That is no surprise. Once again, don't do this. Don't be so... <laughs> with your paint pens. Especially on printer paper, which is what I'm using. Like, don't do that, please. Please don't ruin your drawing by doing that. So as you can see, I'm just using a bunch of different colors. As you can see, since I'm using paint pens, I needed, I need to activate them a little more because some of these haven't been activated yet. Where's that? No, it just looks glittery from this angle. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it looks glittery from that angle, but it's not glittery from that angle at all. Like, So there you go. So now I'm going to go back in with the black marker, the paint pen. Do a couple little touch ups. As you can see, I'm just doing that. Now, if you want, you can add little black food like, to add a little more texture to your worm, if you'd like. And of course, 
I'm gonna draw my worm a little string. And of course, just draw a string tag like that. And now we have our whim on a string. So I hope you found this helpful if you want to know how to draw a whim on string. Or maybe you just found this video entertaining because you were bored and wanted to watch it. Please, if you like whim on string, please watch some of my other videos because I'm really trying to get my channel to get a few more subscribers and so um yeah i really do want my channel to get a few more subscribers and also check out my other channel the hillis party the hillis party is working a lot better getting a lot more views and a lot more subscribers but I really do want to try and get Wizzy Whims to get more views and subscribers and likes and stuff. So please, if you like Wim on String, at least go check out my channel. Also, I have a big Wim on String party coming soon. And I'm trying to post a little more often as well, so... Um... Bye, Wavy Wings!